Hello, my name is Kim Nishar and welcome to another video where in today's video, it's a very special day because it's my second year anniversary on YouTube. I've been doing YouTube for two years now and I'm very happy, especially about everything that's been happening recently. I want to thank you all for that because, you know, doing this for two years and I'm just so happy I'm finally reaching two years on YouTube. And also to celebrate, I got some fan art on Instagram. And I asked the person who made the fan art if I could show it in my next video. And they said yes. So, here's the fan art. And it's definitely an interesting piece of art. As, um, you know, it using my skins, but it also shows some very hilarious moments from the Spots and Bee, and I really like it, so thank you, a random thing on Instagram for the fan art. And yes, I do know them in real life, but I won't use their real name, because again, stranger danger. Um, but anyways, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and click the notification for so you know when I upload because sometimes my videos take like a month to make it just depends on the video and if you want to share some fan art like fan art that I just showed Instagram is a good place to share that and if you want to contact me you know chat with me and stuff Discord's also a good place to start with the video so since I'm recording this on the very first day of spring, I thought I would share some spring gardening hacks. The first one is this flowers type of hack, and it's actually using both both of the types of ore post 1.18. And the hack here is if you put vines in front of something, let's just say redstone. Um, if you put it in front of that, it looks a lot like roses growing on a dark wall. And I think that's a really lovely hack. Speaking of 1.18, there's also this hack to make tall hedges that you sometimes see in rich, in rich people's homes. And basically, this is very simple. You take an azalea, or a flowering azalea, and alternatively, flowering azalea leaves and Zelly leaves, you just do that. And it's a very simple type of garden design. And I'm gonna remove that because that was only there for demonstration purposes. Also, another thing is over here we've got this beautiful design. I think this would be really good in like a courtyard setting. Basically, you take different types of terracotta, glazed terracotta. And you'll arrange it in a way that's like a floral pattern. It would look really great in, in a garden, I promise. So this next tack is this wheelbarrow design. And it's actually a functional wheelbarrow design. So you take this composter block, and then you take this grindstone, and you place it like this. Then you take a fence gate. It's not a fence gate. <laughs> take a fence gate and you put it like that and you open it so it looks like handlebars and that's your wheelbarrow however this wheelbarrow is actually very functional because you can take something like um you know some vegetation you want to get rid of and you can just right click in the compost and you get what looks like to be dirt and stuff inside the wheelbarrow that you will take to your garden. I think it's a really nice hack. This next hack is involving pumpkins. And I did show this hack in a cup, in like a, a couple build hack videos. But I don't think I've ever made a video using the new candles from 1.17. And basically you just take Pumpkin, something green, and tall, like a pickle, green candles, or whatever. Just place it on like that. It's a pumpkin, I see. 
the end of this hack. It's a really simple one. So the next hack is this lantern hack. And basically to make this, it's kind of complicated. So you basically take, let's take one over here. And basically you take a block and you place some trap doors like this. I would go for the crimson and warped wood trap doors because they look like and you remove the block and then you place your lantern like that and you've got a floating lantern i think it would be very pretty to put in your gardens and the next hack is a little beehive hack basically you take scaffolding and a beehive place it like that you can also do it with the with a bee nest as well you basically just do that. And now you have a nice little home for your bees in your garden. And another hack over here involves different types of shelving. Now if you're looking for like a more rustic type of look, I would try to go for this shelving. However, there is a little bit of a disadvantage to this shelving. Because all you can really put on here is like meat and stuff. Which is kind of unfortunate. And basically how you make this is you take a campfire, then you take a shovel, and then you do that. It's very simple. Then of course you take some trap doors, and then you take some like carpets. Now all three of these aren't usable shelves, but they're very useful in aesthetic reasons. Okay, the next hack is involving barrels of some kind. Now, the thing is, um, if you were to make like a shop or something, um, you could use rock hopper, block of raw gold, amethyst, and, you know, raw iron, and you could basically surround it by trapdoors like it is I'm gonna use rock gold for example and you could get a plate full of either lemons or or wax this could be oranges especially with the green part this could be grapes of some kind and also I love the sound of amethyst blocks and this could be potatoes. And these are like a few of my favorite blocks in the game right now, so. So the next hack is actually a pretty big one. And it's this. Basically, we've got, we've got this sort of palm thing. Also, we've got cattails. Basically, you just place some glass like that. You take a brown candle. And you should probably use like green gra glass, so like lime stained glass or dark green stained glass, and then you just place a brown candle on top, and you've got a little bit of um, a cat tail. Mm, they're kind of pretty, although they look, they look like corn dogs. But another hack over here is these look a lot like gooseberries. Now the thing is, unfortunately, I haven't ever had one before, but these look a lot like gooseberries. So if you want to have gooseberries in your garden, on, there you go. Just stick some glowberries onto a log of some kind and there you go. Now thank you all for watching this video. I had a really fun time making it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Ah! Oh. oh, uh, hello, um, thank you for watching my second anniversary video, and I decided I would do something special for this video, and do a face reveal. 
Now, the thing is, if I did this earlier in my channel, it probably would have never happened. Because at the time, I had low self-esteem about how I looked and everything. Like, literally, every time I looked in the mirror, I thought I looked ugly. But I was able to, you know, take care of myself a little bit. And I got most of my acne down. I still have acne every now and then. But I'm a teenager. Of course I'm going to have acne. But thank you for keeping me up. Yep. Keeping up with me. The past two years I've been uploading on this channel. And I'm very thankful for this community of people. You know, that I call friends. Which is... Yo, thank you for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.